do great leaders or great people necessarily need to go to school to be great or not? It has been a topic of uh, debate over the last uh, two weeks as uh, a popular uh, TV host, Baba Jide, on Journalist Hangout on TVC, once said uh, a week ago that it is not necessarily for you to, you know, go to school to be a great leader. Referring to Bola Ahmed Tinubu in reference to the Chicago State University, you know, it's something that is so bad that people now no longer have sense. You know, they started, you know, trying to um, defend evil to try and make things that are not supposed to be normal. Okay, fine. If you say it's not necessarily for great leaders to go to school, then what happened to the young lady? whom everybody come against her for uh, certificate forgery. Here we are with your president who has been alleged to have forged a university certificate. Nobody knows his parents. Nobody knows his origin. You can't even testify to which secondary or primary school he went. You know, nobody knows his details. And uh, here you are because you're working in his uh, television station and then you are saying all manner of things. Anyway, here is a video of... Uh, uh, His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, the man with the track records. Here is what he said in response to that. No, we have had leaders all over the world that didn't go to school. Just say, this is who I am. These are my parents. These are my children. <laughs> you know? From that now, you know, talking about uh, good leadership. And letting people know exactly where you come from, what you do for a living, before aspiring for any political position. This is what His Excellency Mr. Peter B. have to say in response to that. Knowing fully aware that his uh, opponent, Bola Ahmed Tinebo, is struggling with his identity, trying to let Nigerians and the whole world know who, is, who he actually is. You know, proud to 25th of February 2023 general election, where a lot of discrepancies as to whether he is a Nigerian or not. Or he's a drug lord or not or ever whether he's a forged certificate from chicago state university a case which uh the chicago uh you know there is already a verdict coming from uh the uh, uh courts in uh, united states of which uh the document will be released to Atiku abubaka within the next 24 hours as well as the unveiling of the 2500 pages of document from the fbi in the united states starting from uh, next month, which is uh, just 24 hours away from now. So here is what Peter Obi of Labour Party have to say. Good behavior. This is part of leadership. So he can be done. We have all the talents and everything all over the world. It's a question of the leadership have to show it. You have to start by saying, my name is Peter Obi. And from this town, I went to this primary school, this secondary school, this university, <laughs> and people plan. <laughs> this is they very, they're very important. You know, when Chica was saying my CV, he said Harvard. I said, no, Chica, I did a program in Harvard. <laughs> I'm an alumnus of Oxford and Cambridge. It can go and be verified. Verified. I don't need to. I, need, I don't need to put injunction for you not to see it. Go and tell them in Osaka whether they'll give you my transcript. <laughs> These are things we must, and we must do it and say this is who we are, because that's what makes us. Nobody said you must be anything. No. We have had leaders all over the world that didn't go to school. Just say, this is who I am. These are my parents. Um, you see, you know, that uh, Tikul Abubakar, you know, is doing a good job um, at the district court of NLR in the United States. Well, he is challenging, um, you know, or let me say, he is uh, requesting for the academic record of uh, Mr. Tinibu of APC and the current uh, president declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, you know, and he wants to know exactly in order to prove his case beyond his debut that since the Presidential Petition Tribunal sitting at Peacock have decided to, you know, drop our constitution and go for, you know, defending what is 
undefendable um, at the courts by making Tinubu, you know, to remain as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I haven't seen a lot of evidence beyond reasonable that to every common man that Tinubu ought not to be the president of Nigeria, but somewhere to be languishing somewhere, probably somewhere, somewhere, you know, somewhere. So <laughs> let me not just go but you know what happened in this country. So that is it from me. What do you think about this whole drama back and forth? But however, here is uh, the the message from uh, good news coming from the courts in a northern district of Illinois. So this is a good news coming from the United States as the U.S. District Judge Honorable Nelson counseled oral argument and presentation revealing ruling on Bola Tinibu, you know, objection to Magistrate Judge other, you know, directing Chicago State University. You know, to release Tinubu academic record to article within 48 hours, the court will endeavor to issue a written ruling as soon as possible. The court know that the court staff has received extensive email communication from members of the public related to this case. The court understand the significant public interest in this dispute, but the court will not consider any third party or ex party. <laughs> ex party submission rather the court's review will be limited to the party's briefing and the official record on the on the doc saying says george nelson ladies and gentlemen somebody is trying to bribe somebody i i'm not mentioning anybody's name i'm not saying that uh uh Tinibu is trying to uh, bribe the judge, you know, or am I saying that Atiku is trying to bribe the judge, or maybe somebody somewhere, somebody somewhere is trying to find his way, you know, in order to make this whole uh, drama, uh, you know, something else. But then, what do you think about this particular scenario? Do you think that one party is trying to lobby the judge in order to get judgment in uh, his favor? You know, let's have this uh, much conversation at the comment section. But however, let's keep it cool, whatever it is. Any political spectrum you belong to, please keep it cool. No insults, you know, no violence. Thank you. See you soon.